how to locate a file on your computer. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. It's not uncommon to know that there's a file on your machine. You just can't find where it is in order to be able to click on it or use it or open it or do whatever it is you want to do. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to locate files on your computer. Now, I do have to start with the caveat that you need to know at least part of the file name. The more you know of the file name, the better. You don't have to know the whole thing, but like I said, the more the better. So here we are in Windows 11 and I have a picture of one of my dogs. And I know for a fact that Walter is in fact part of the name of the file. So the first thing we do is give it a try, hit the search button and just type in Walter and see what shows up. And sure enough, there's a Walter.jpg, but notice that there's also Walter 3, Walter 6, Walter Roll. These are all different images um, that all happen to have the name Walter in them. If for some reason the results here are populated with things that they aren't even pictures, they're websites or programs or whatever, then the thing to do is of course to click on documents. This will search in your documents folder for documents that contain the name Walter. And you'll notice right away that a bunch of stuff has disappeared because much of what I found isn't in fact in the documents folder. Now, the option that it gives you here to search in File Explorer is in fact the next thing to try. We'll go ahead and do that. And we go ahead and click the arrow here to the right of the search box. It'll actually try to find Walter in the documents folders. Unfortunately, that's not where it lives. So what we're going to do is close search, click on this PC, and this time we'll type Walter into the search box and search this PC. And sure enough, it says working on it. This to me is perhaps the biggest drawback of using Windows File Explorer to search for files on your PC. It can be slow. It can be surprisingly slow. So I'm going to let that churn for a while while I show you what I really do. Now, I've been using Windows and MS-DOS before it. I'm a command line kind of guy. So what I'm going to do is run the Windows command prompt. I'm going to CD, which changes directory, to the root of the C drive, which means the entire drive is now available to us. I'm going to say DIR, which stands for directory, slash S, which means search subdirectories or include subdirectories in the listing. And then I'm going to type Walter. But this time I'm going to include an asterisk at the end. An asterisk is a wild card. A wild card means anything. So it's the six letters W-A-L-T-E-R followed by anything. That's important because Walter by itself won't match something like Walter.jpg or Walter2.jpg or Walter.png. In, in the command line world, we need to be a little bit more inclusive. And that means searching for anything, in this case, that begins with Walter and ends with anything at all. I'll hit enter and the search begins. There's one right away in the folder C colon backslash T. There's a couple more over in OneDrive folder and in another OneDrive folder. But as you can see, it found them all. And it's still faster than the Windows File Explorer search that is continuing to happen in the background. Now, the one thing that is very clear here is that the Windows File Explorer search is showing us more results. And that's because you don't need wildcards in this search. Searching for Walter in Windows File Explorer will return anything that includes Walter anywhere in the file name. Not only do I have Walter3.jpg, but I've also got Walter6 and so forth. But prior to that, you can see that I have all sorts of search results that include Walter in the middle of the string. Now, we could do that in the command prompt by using the asterisk again. 
In this case, we would say dir slash s star Walter star. That means anything in front of the word Walter, anything after the word Walter, but Walter needs to be there. So if I do this, now all of a sudden we get a bunch more results across more of the machine that should technically match a little bit more of what we're finding over here in Windows File Explorer. Windows File Explorer did finally finish and it does show us a bunch of different results that include the word Walter. But these are the two most effective ways to search for things on your machine. Click on this PC and use the search box in Windows File Explorer or in the command prompt CD to the root of the C drive and then just do a DIR on whatever it is you're looking for. Hope that helps. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 3009. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.